Russia could accelerate its path to becoming one of the world's biggest Bitcoin, BTC, and crypto miners, with reports that President Vladimir Putin has backed a measure that may see the industry legalized and brought under government regulation. Bloomberg reported that the move could be good news for the crypto mining industry, and claimed that three people familiar with the matter who had asked not to be identified because the information is not public had confirmed Putin's stance. They said the president had backed the Russian government proposal to tax and regulate mining, and had rejected the central bank's proposal to ban it completely. However, the plan proposes a number of limiting measures that the industry may not welcome, the sources stated that the plan would read. All three regions already have a large number of crypto miners, due to their favorably cold weather conditions and power surpluses. The report noted that the Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov had declined to say what Putin's stance was, but added that the president had ordered the government and central bank to work out their differences, echoing Putin's own sentiments from earlier this week. Yesterday, Cryptonews.com reported that Putin had made note of Russia's certain competitive advantages in crypto, especially in the field of crypto mining. He specifically pointed out that the nation has an electricity surplus, as well as well-trained personnel versed in crypto. Per University of Cambridge compiled data, at the end of August last year, Russia was the world's third largest Bitcoin BTC, mining nation, behind only the USA and Kazakhstan. However, that picture may well have already changed dramatically. Many of the miners fleeing China's crypto crackdown last year are thought to have moved to Russia. And Kazakhstan has this winter effectively pulled the plug on many of its miners following an energy price crisis, meaning that Russia's control over the global hash rate may well have climbed higher than August 2021's 11. 23%. Meanwhile, pro-crypto forces in the government appear keen to press for regulation, not bans in response to the central bank's calls last week for a shutdown of both crypto and mining.